Creating a PDF from multiple JPEGs that you want to put together can be a little bit confusing. Uh, I gotta say Mac Preview does not make it, doesn't make it very obvious. So here's what we do. The very first thing we want to do is we want to open up what we call the sidebar so we can see a thumbnail view of this image. Don't worry about any of that, those are just the terms. So make sure you have an image open and another image that you'd like to add to this image to make your PDF. Uh, once your image is open, let's just go up to the upper left hand corner where we see this little screen beside the word Italy. And you want to left click on the down arrow and you want to then left click on thumbnails. And then your sidebar, which is this entire thing here, opens up. Now we can add more photos very, very easily. And here's how you do it. Uh, there's one more trick though when it comes to the opening the sidebar. You could also, let's say you're still in this mode, go up to the upper left hand part of your entire screen and you'll left click on the word view and then left click on the word thumbnails. And there you go. So now if you wanna put another image in here, all you have to do is left click and drag that image, left click hold and drag that image below this image in the sidebar. So I'm just going to left click and hold uh, an image of fall and you can see it coming on screen now. And all I have to do is let go of it in the empty space on the sidebar. So as soon as you see a green dot with a white cross and you're in the empty space like I am, you can just let go and it should go right in there. So practice that a few times if you feel that you didn't quite get it. And I'm gonna drop in one more image. So I'm gonna left click and hold on the image and then move my mouse or trackpad over until it's in the empty space on the sidebar and I see the green dot, uh, which also has a white cross, and I just let go. There we go. We've got all the images we need to make the PDF and basically you need one or two. Uh, we're gonna use three. Now let's say I wanna change the order this is just an option. If I wanted this uh, blue lake to be the very first image, I would actually drag it up on top and these two would fall underneath. What you're about to see though will be a little bit confusing and I, because there's gonna be two lakes while I'm dragging this. So let's, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna left click here uh, on the lake image and you see how this other one pops in? That's just showing you where the lake image was. Don't worry about it. Just move your mouse up while you're still left clicking and holding. And you should just, and you could see how these images just drop below. And once you're up top, just let go of your mouse and you're back to just one image. And that's it. So let's try that again. I'm just going to left click and hold on the lake image and I'm going to move. And you see how it kind of looks like it creates two, even though it doesn't really. Then I'm just gonna move my mouse or my finger down my trackpad until it's in the position I want, and then I let go. And there you go. That's how you reposition the order. The same effect works for PDFs, but that's a separate video. Now, in order to turn all of these into one PDF, you have to highlight them all and then go through a, pro a quick process. So the easiest way to highlight them, if there's only a few, just left click on the first one, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then left click on the lake uh, the, or the last image, sorry. Now, if there's a hundred images or you know more than 10 or something where you don't wanna keep clicking and clicking and clicking, you can actually left click on the first one, then hold down the command key on your Mac and then tap the letter A. And that tells the computer to select all. That is a function that works in many programs, uh, Microsoft Word, Excel, everything. So uh, now that we've got all of that, just go into the upper left hand corner of your screen, left click on file, and then go down. This is where people get tripped up. Don't go to export as a PDF. It doesn't understand to combine all of the images together. You actually have to go to print and now go to PDF here, right where my mouse is. Don't worry if you see black and white. That's just if, you, if I printed it to my printer right now. Uh, it will actually save as a PDF in color form. So I'm just gonna left click on the down arrow and now save as a PDF. And I'm going to just call this one test. You'll see that it had the word .jpg. You don't want that, you just wanna erase everything and give it its own title. 
and I like where I'm going to save it. I want to put it on my desktop. Uh, I don't worry about any of this information. If you want to be very spe very specific, you can be. So I'm just going to say test, you know. And now just left click on save and close this. And you should be good. So I'm going to left click and double, uh, oh, sorry, I'm going to left double click on the PDF. And you can see it all popped up. So now it's all on the same one. And from there, uh, you can start to do other things like you can add, you know, text to it if you wanted to. And, uh, you know, say my trip to Italy. I'm just going to increase my text. So let's, go, let's put that to 80. There we go. And that's it. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. The more likes and views I get, the more videos I can make. Have a great day.